Yesterday's latest installment, Kevin, of the January 6th committee uh, hearing claims that the Capitol riot was Donald Trump's attempt to seize power. It was true American carnage. It made Watergate look like a Cub Scout meeting and nearly toppled the constitutional order. Uh, all that being stated from the so-called objective committee member named Jamie Raskin. He's a Democrat, Kevin, from the state of Maryland. Yeah, uh, Donald Trump witness tampering, a 20-year offense. Donald Trump directing a mob to storm the Capitol, a 20-year offense. January 6th committee members making headlines again, but are they making sense? Uh, did, did Donald Trump really direct a mob to storm the Capitol, or did he tell his supporters to march to the Capitol in protest? Did Donald Trump really tamper with a witness, or did he make a phone call? Uh, we're the, the jury's still out, I guess. Joining us now is Rashini Rashkumar, political strategist and lawyer. Good morning, Rashini. How are you? Good morning, Kevin. I love that you said the jury's still out. And here's the thing. There is no jury. This nope. is a hearing in Congress. And so it's really kind of crazy that we keep on hearing more things. Use of words, like you say, tamper. That is a term of art. That is something that the fact finder would have to absolutely come down on looking at what both sides of any argument are saying so this is we're in dangerous territory guys yeah if, if there was a jury i guess it would be the opinion polls that, that we see coming out uh, we are seeing that a lot of uh americans I, you know maybe half are paying attention to this at all but uh but those who uh do uh, answer these polls uh, say uh, they they don't like uh, what Donald Trump was doing, uh, and 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 some say he should be charged criminally. Uh, when when you look at 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 should he be charged criminally? Have you seen anything yet that gets to a point where the DOJ should should file charges against Donald Trump? You know that's a really big question. It's a good question. It's a big question. I think it's very hard to determine that and look at that as a black or white thing, because we've not heard from Donald Trump. We haven't heard from some of his side of this story. A lot of things right now are accusations. And yes, I know this committee believes it's talking to all these witnesses, but frankly, it seems like more people keep on coming out of the woodwork. I thought there would be just kind of a finite number of hearings. And I went online last night getting ready for you guys, and I can't find where it says, okay, there will be X number of hearings. When we first started into this and we were previewing these hearings, I thought there were going to be six of them. We well, yesterday, that was number seven. So I'm unclear how long are these hearings going to go? You can't just turn it into sort of this witch hunt. And again, I don't like anybody doing anything that could be illegal, that was illegal, that the events of January 6th were horrible for our nation. But accusing people and then charging them with crimes those are big deals. Yeah, and a lot of this big deal, this committee, was really centered around this tweet that Trump sent out prior to his speech and the protest in D.C. On, on January 6th that it was going to be wild, these protests or this rally. And again, Congressman Raskin, you know, he was at the helm of this hearing. He said that that sole tweet was responsible for acting as an invitation to extremists to overthrow the government essentially through violence. So you take that tweet and then combine comments from extremists and you try to connect these dots, giving the impression that they're communicating with one another as they're orchestrating this big riot and this big insurrection, as they call it. That's the impression they were trying to make. Did it work? In either way, was it even true? Well, and the thing is, when a tweet like that, in the language that Donald Trump uses, and we saw it throughout his presidency, he is really one who goes into big terms, hyperbole. He uses the biggest word that he can use or the wildest word, so to speak, no pun intended, it, whether it's as a word that makes sense or not. I don't know that we can all of a sudden try to connect all these dots or create the dots and then create the lines. I think that's what I get very uncomfortable about as an attorney who definitely loves the Constitution. I mean, if you're going to charge people with a crime there has to be more than just one tweet there has to actually be you know i did this i i, I pushed someone into doing a certain action forced someone bribed someone those are crimes and i guess i've just not seen hmm. that yet yeah you know and there's this other you know congressman jamie raskin he's also went on to say go on as so far as to say that roger stone the the political consultant 
and a longtime friend of Trump. I mean, people might not like him, but he said that he was actually a member of the Proud Boys. Uh, really? Oh the Proud Boys have only been around a few years. Do you think that's actually true? <laughs> this is what the fact checking across all of these hearings, Tom and Kevin, really is lacking. Yes. I, I mean, and then it gets put out there. It's the headlines. You guys are talking about this on your show. People are talking about it all over the country. And it, I, I just get really uncomfortable with how far we've gone from the rule of law and proper legitimate investigations. Yeah, so this is uh, a production. We talked with you about this before. It was a prime yeah. time hearing. Uh, you know, there's a there's a an ABC uh, former official uh, helping with the production of this thing. You you mentioned I don't know how many hearings there's going to be. They 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 now moved into the closing arguments stage of this. I I, I feel like they're going to continue to have hearings until America's attention drifts away from the abortion issue and the inflation issue, which I, I don't think is going to be anytime soon. But I, I get the feeling that um, they, they, their timing is incredibly bad and America has bigger problems at their kitchen table that they're worried about and that somehow they're hoping that they can uh, bring everybody's attention back to, to, to this case and I think it's important that we find out what happened on January 6th. We don't ever want that to happen again. But I don't get the sense that that's what they're trying to do. I just get the sense that they're trying to figure out how in the world can we get the DOJ to charge Donald Trump with a crime. And and so, um, to, you know, the long way of going around this is, is do you think they're going to actually get to anything that's going to make a difference that helps this country to not have a, another January 6th uh, attack? Well, I mean, I think it's two separate questions. I don't think anyone wants another January 6th attack because we've also seen what's happened since that January 6th day. Uh, I think anyone who might think of doing something like that might think twice or three times before they do that. I think and hope that that was a very unusual once in a lifetime kind of thing that happened to our nation. But just it, it is not fair, no matter how much you like or don't like Donald Trump. And believe me, I've been a critic of his prior to him being elected. You can't just witch hunt people. I mean, we had the McCarthy hearings back before I was born. Like those kinds of things our country shouldn't be doing. And that's what we're living through right now. Yeah, they just keep digging until they find something that sticks is what it seems like. Well, we know the next hearing will be Thursday, uh, July 21st. And as you said, we don't know how long these will go on. I, I suspect it might be until early November, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> it's a good but, guess, we'll, we'll find out. Roshini Rajkumar, political strategist and attorney, we always appreciate your comments. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.